Here's a wonderful bit of glass blowing, which I've come across recently. I think they're made in Italy, but they are found in Paris. It's a, a wine bottle with a glass integral inside it. In fact, the base of the gli wine glass and the bottle are the same thing. How on earth they made that, I've no idea. But uh, that, that's modern. It's only two or three years old, I think. Here, by contrast, are older, much older corks, well, 150 years old, but they're modern reproductions. And the idea is you put them in a wine bottle and then you push the handle at the back and you get some very humorous actions. This one is a kissing couple, my favourite, I think. But they're all a nice idea. They come from the Tyrol, which is down in the south. This one here, he gets up and reads through his glasses. This is the polite man. I like this one here. As you lift up the thing, pull the string, he politely doffs his hat to you. A little violinist. He'll do something good as well. And the last one I have to show, at least, is the telephonist. All made in Tyrol, modern reproductions, but very nicely done. And they sit in the top of the bottle, decorating and amusing the guests when they come to a dinner. There was one more I had to put in, which is a modern one, but it's a nice idea that you put it in the bottle of wine and then you can control the flow just by turning the tap on and off. It works very well, in fact. That was just a, a modern bit of nonsense. But these ones here, I think, are little gems because they're made for 150 years down in Tyrol and they're still being made, they're still available from, from them. I think they're wonderful. This is, this is out of the world.